Hi everybody, it's Katie from AwesomeCast and today we're at Alpha Lab Gear talking to some startups. I am now with... Uh, Anthony Elias, uh, an intern from Peacemaker Technology. Uh, Drew Lippold, also an intern from Peacemaker Technology. How's this going so far? Is this a little nerve-wracking? I mean, no, it's great. Uh, I love working for Peacemaker and we're glad to tell everyone about it. So. You know, I mean, this is really like the first job that I come into and I just love it. Uh, being a product design intern, it's really something else. Being able to actually develop a product, see it from its basic concept sketches all the way to a finished product, it's really an awesome thing. Do you guys go to school around here? Oh, well, I live around here. I'm like five minutes away, but I actually go to college at uh, Davidson College in North Carolina. Mm -hmm. uh, I go to the uh, Art Institute of Pittsburgh. So what are you doing here? How did you get involved? Usually it's just Pittsburgh folks. <laughs> so um, down at Davidson, I took a 3D printing and 3D modeling class, and I decided, like, you know, I want to do it this summer. So I literally just searched for 3D printing internships in Pittsburgh because I knew I was coming home, found Peacemaker, contacted them, went through interviews, uh, and I was uh, chosen. So I'm here just doing product design uh, for our new pilot in Ju uh, July. Yeah. So where did the idea of Peacemaker come from? So... Arden and Alejandro, when they got into 3D printing, they, they were actually, they built their own printers. They, at first, they wanted to design printers and sell them, but they figured that actually wouldn't work as well. Mm -hmm. So from there, they decided, you know, customization is a great thing you can do with 3D printing. So let's make a kiosk, design the printers, and then make content that, you know, people can come into a store, get on the kiosk, and, you know, pick, pick what they want from the content and then customize it any way they want. What is the benefits to the stores that have your kiosks in them? Uh, the major benefit is really not even having to do inventory. Uh, you'll, they'll have to do inventory on the actual material itself, but I mean, say right now, the basic model in a store is, you know, buy whatever you think people are going to be buying, and then if it makes it, it makes it. If it doesn't, it doesn't. So, and what you do with those leftovers, you know, put them on clearance, whatever, lose money on it. With uh, our model, the the advantage to the store is, you know, your customer is doing your inventory for you. So your customer is the one coming in, picking out whatever they want, whether it be jewelry, toys, um, really anything that you can think of that can be done on a 3D printer, and pick it out, customize it to uh, whatever they want with their text, uh, color, different various stencils and then hit print and then pay and uh, get on their way, so. And I know you guys had a very exciting visitor here yesterday with President Obama. You created a special piece for him? Yeah, uh, you wanna take this one? <laughs> yeah, sure. Um, so we basically, I mean, all of us, uh, the, the day before just sort of designed stuff that was Obama related. Mm -hmm. um, we did lithophanes of him, hold it up to the light and then the image comes through. And we also made, you know, spinning heart pendants with uh, his name and his family members' names on them. We made little dog tags for his uh, dogs that he has. Um, and uh, I believe we did also just like, you know, patriotic things and put on a key ring. Arden was able to give it to his staff. So hopefully he has it, maybe he'll wear some yeah. stuff. Hopefully. Yeah. What amazes me is the turnaround. You found out you had this thing ready to go yesterday and w within like a day's time yeah I mean it's a pretty fast if you it's a pretty fast process if you know CAD programs like SolidWorks Rhino uh, you use Maya I use Maya so I mean if you know any CAD pro programs that can change a 3d model into an SDL file you just send it hit it, get it into an SDL file and hit print and then we send it over to our 3d printers over there and it prints for us so we can just, we can change, we can swap out the color whenever we want. And as long as we don't have any support, it's okay. Wow, that's just amazing to me that you're able to do this in, in the customization. What kind of stores would use your uh, kiosk? I mean, anything ranging from toy stores, you know, phone stores for phone cases, um, jewelry stores. Uh, I mean, a, a mall in general would, would benefit like tremendously. Yeah, I mean, I mean, really, I think the, I mean, it, the possibilities are endless. We can have this really in any consumer environment. Um, I mean, we're soon, not soon, but 
hopefully in the near future we'll be getting some 3D metal printing, um, ceramic printing. As soon as those technologies go down in price and are practical, um, we're hopefully going to be implementing those. And so, you know, it's pretty exciting. I think definitely the retail market is going to benefit the most from this, but there are definitely a lot more applications for this technology. So what's the next step for Peacemaker? What's the future? So in July, coming up, we're doing a pilot uh, for a toy store in Butler. And then moving forward to October, we'll be in about five more stores. So, you know, things are going up for Peacemaker. It's just, it's a process and uh, things have to be done right. Yeah, and then we also have uh, in the Pittsburgh area, uh, I believe seven Verizon stores mm -hmm. actually want us to come in, develop some customizable phone cases, yeah. and we'll be able to 3D print phone cases for uh, local Verizon stores. Mm -hmm. So what do you guys think it is about Pittsburgh and the startups here and, and attracting attention from President Obama? What, what is it about the city? I mean, I think it's just a, I think it's just a great community and you know it's the community is really pushing for a lot of startups and the community is really just getting in on new businesses and supporting those new businesses and really finding out where we can take t technology to the next level. So and also uh, Carnegie Mellon has a great technology program so you know all these startups are a lot of them are Carnegie Mellon grads and you know that attract people to Pittsburgh as well and I mean they're very smart and they work very hard what are some of your favorite pieces that you've worked on we have a lot here so well I mean we can just show you some examples of like successful things um, some of these we haven't like you know some of these other interns have done uh, but for example this here uh, Xavier made this I don't know if you can it's a basically the Pittsburgh skyline, uh, and it's customized. This is Steel City robots, and the buildings actually have like robotic faces on them. Um, so that's something very cool, uh, you know. And it's also Pittsburgh, um, right here. Very successful piece, the Marry Me Heart, <laughs> and we actually designed a connector now that it'll you can spin it. Um, so yeah, like you can yeah, Jewel, why don't you show them that? Yeah, I mean this is one of my favorite pieces that I worked on. This is the uh, Blank Heart Blank Pendant. And this, with this pendant, you have two boxes that will be able to be fully customized to where you can put text or a stencil in. So right now it says, um, the initials of my girlfriend, heart, me, uh, which is pretty cool. But then again, we also have this pendant that can spin around. And how this prints is it prints on the bed as two separate parts and then it gets taken off and then you just break this little a little support in there and it'll actually spin and uh, be able to be hung. And um, you know and, and all of this stuff you know it the stencil of it is blank and you customize it so it doesn't have to say marry me it could say I love you it could say a name. Um, this gyroscope pendant this spins so this is all printed in one one single print, about 20 minutes probably. And when they take it off the bed, it moves and it's ready to go right from there. It so. amazes me how ma that material is so durable. Oh yeah. yeah. And I mean, we actually even have, if you can kind of see through the light, we even have a support uh, structure in there to where it's semi-hollow, but it uses a honeycomb design on the inside to um, really get in and make it a very good structural component. Mm -hmm. So I mean, I could, you know, just from me bending it, it's not yeah. really doing anything. Mm -hmm. So and uh, we so we print an ABS plastic, which is, you know it's it's strong and it can be flexible, and they actually use it in some cars. Mm -hmm. So it's actually one of the better quality plastics that you can 3D print in. Here's a chess piece that we put through. Uh, we use in a software mm -hmm. get this full design on it. Yeah. Yeah. So it also has a little melting point, which is another plus for uh, 3D printing. So. Very cool. I love these things and the ability to customize them. And we had discussed before that when you go to these amusement parks and places where you can get the little penny imprint and yeah. where you're at and the opportunity is there for you. So, yeah, I mean, uh, similar to the penny imprints, like, you know, you can, if, so this is, uh, this is actually a labeler. So, you know, this can go on a cake, it can go on food, um, and you can say whatever you want on it. Um, so yeah, similar to the penny things, you, you can make it your own. It's a selfie world, everyone's yeah. into selfies, so this is uh, where we come in. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. and, and I mentioned also that there's 
a company I work for mm -hmm. um, is constantly looking for what we call swag in something different you want to give your, your customers and you know you can only give them so many stickers and so many pens and you need something different to kind of catch their attention. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, we're always looking, we're always making new content, always making new stencils. Uh, with this new pilot we're bringing in June, we our, the design team here has been really busy working on new content, new, uh, new stencils. So, I mean, my goal every pilot is to at least get, you know, seven uh, new categories of stencils into the machines, and uh, hopefully by then it will we'll expand the content by a lot and really get customization to be the real revolution in 3D printing. Well, thank you both so much for talking with us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.